Now I'm going to introduce you to our outdoor cats, of which we have nine. And these cats also are the result of someone not spaying and neutering their house pets. Uh, it started with a male and a female cat having babies over and over and over again people in the neighborhood calling animal control and they would come out and get the babies and take them away and kill them so we got with Barks they have a beautiful program called Best Friends and we got them all spayed and neutered they all have their shots that's Mr. Tigger right there that's Big Daddy he's one of the ones that started this whole thing this is Budger he comes in every morning to see baby. That's Tinker. He comes in to see baby too. Tinker was attacked by a, the next door neighbor's dog and best friends fixed him up. He came back home. He's a lovely cat. Hi Tink. Hi Tinky. Yes. Yeah, everybody says, oh, feral cats are so wild and vicious. I don't think so. I don't think so, Tink. You guys ready to have your breakfast? Every morning, they're here waiting for their breakfast. That's Twin and BJ. Tigger. And that's Precious. We had her fixed on her own before we found Best Friend. This is Mrs. Beasley. Mrs. B. Mrs. B. She, her mother was poisoned by someone in the neighborhood and our cats took her in. And I'm trying to get a picture of Grandma here. This is Kiki, Big Grandma. She's the one that started it all. They said she had a bad infection and would have died if Best Friends hadn't uh, fixed her up. And this over here unceremoniously with the leg in the air. That's Bobo. I think we've got them all. And this is where they stay on our porch. We have plastic on the windows and a couple of heaters. I think it's like 20 degrees outside right now and snowing like crazy. And they have their toys over here and they play. I'd say they have a pretty good life. Food when you want it. Now, these cats aren't exactly tame house pets. Uh, Tigger, we can't pet Tigger. He'll tolerate, I, I can get this close to him and he'll tolerate me. Everybody else, <coughs> excuse me, pretty much can be petted. Can't pet BJ. Uh, she doesn't really like people. So, you don't really want to get too close to them because, as you can see, they come and go as they please. They're, they're still basically wild but I wanted to make this video to show people their concept or perception of wild feral cats isn't always right we have we have here Kiki she's been out on her own in the wild for 12 13 years and I'm petting her and this is Tinky I'm petting him and this is twin and I'm petting her now you as a stranger probably couldn't pet them they would probably run away but a lot of people have a fear that they're going to be attacked by these cats these cats have all been spayed and neutered they have the rabies shot and the other feline disease shots and they're wonderful animals why the hell would you destroy these animals cats are self-sufficient they you just give them a little bit of help and they take care of themselves. What, what can be better than that? And <laughs> they're really funny to watch. And it's not that big of a problem to share our front porch with them. Our neighbors, um, they're supportive. They help feed them and take care of them. So they're our community cats. They're no different than any other wildlife you would have in your neighborhood other than you have to give them a little bit of help. 
so I'm happy to introduce you <laughs> to the animals that we love. Thanks.